up YouTube what up friends and fam back recording on the Samsung Galaxy S10 plus abundance let's talk about it how to create it what it means to me and why I just want to give it away all right so abundance abundance means uh, abundance like it just just like what it sounds like it just means having a surplus of this that and the other thing um, the whole piece of the puzzle, man, the whole pie, like having surplus pieces of pie. That's what abundance is, right? So last year I would get on this camera and talk about like if tomorrow, if everything got taken from me, I wouldn't care and it wouldn't phase me. But at the time of me saying that, it would have phased the fuck out of me and I would have cried like a little bitch. But now I see what I was trying to get at because now I'm living it. You know what I'm saying? I'm creating abundance for myself. I've created an abundant lifestyle for myself where I know how to make X amount of things happen. I know how to have an abundant lifestyle where I have abundant amount of time to work out every day because I live in the moment, because I wake up early, I create this abundance of time that others seem not to have. And that was my excuse for a while too. Oh, I don't have time to work out twice a day. I don't have time to eat right. I don't have the money to eat right. All that are fucking lies. Those are lies that because we were we're taught, you know, we teach each other growing up, not even society, this is like a humanity thing to do, is keep us in survival mode because our brain wants to make us survive and not so much thrive, you know? Because those who thrive, you you're the ones that get ridiculed, we're the ones that get talked shit about because we're fucking crazy. But we're the ones that make changes. So the abundant people, you can't expect everybody's going to be fucking for you when you're abundant because most people do not live in a state of abundance, unfortunately. Um, that's just the way they're brought up. That's the way society teaches us. So when you transition into living a life of abundance instead of a, in scarcity, you'll see what I mean, man. Like, <laughs> I was just on the phone with a new hire and I was like, dude, he just quit his job and he just straight up quit his job when I said I could hire him full time right fucking now. And I was like, God damn, bro, that's like, whew, like that, like when at first it was, it was my scarcity mindset tapped in. I was like, fuck man, like I now I have to hire a full fucking new hire, whatever. But then the, the sense of abundance came through, especially that I got my workout in. I'm like, what he did, <laughs> It's bringing me to tears, man. That's the second time I've had somebody do that. So I'm doing something right because that's the second time I've convinced somebody. I didn't tell him to quit his job or anything like that, but that's the second time somebody quit their job to come work for me full time. And I, I just sent him a text right now, man. I'm like, yo, you, you will be rewarded for that shit, man. Like, there, uh, there's no secret about it, man. Like the last time, the last time somebody did that. I, I gave him the world, bro, and I'm continue to give him the world. I gave him the truck, man. I, I gave him my favorite truck because I know what abundance is, and I know the secret of abundance is giving it away. If you want more abundance, you have to give away what you what you cherish the most, materialistically. What you cherish the most, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just that simple. Like, if you want more shit, you have to give more shit away. It's the polar opposite, and that's the um, universal law, that you can't have one without the other. There's the yin and the yang, however you want to say it, but when you give it away, then it comes back to you. It's just that simple. And you, if you give away enough, it'll come back to you tenfold. It'll come back to you tenfold. Um, and yet, I'm expecting a big year this year. I'm expecting a huge fucking year this year. I went from... Um, myself and then two employees all all last year now i just hired a new guy so that's three employees and then another one's coming up from florida so that's four employees plus i have my cooker or my chef so that's five employees man i got four full time and five you know she's kind of um half time um, but it really could develop into full-time real fucking quick once we start the meal prep service, which I'm fucking ex excited about, man. Like, because that's the thing with me, man. Anybody that works with me, for me, whatever you want to call it, I'm giving them an opportunity to set up their own business with my support. 
that's the beautiful thing of this. That's the whole reason why this channel is called Dream Creator is because I'm creating people's dreams. I'm helping people establish what they're really good at and helping them live those dreams. That's why I influence people by the, starting with the early morning wake up time and eating 100% organic. It's, that, that's a good place to start. And also drinking the nice water because water is very fucking important. And um, I'm so, so excited about my new hire, man. I, this kid is going to be better than me. That's always my intention too. Like, I'm always thinking, how can I make people better than me? Because I want to be in a room where I'm not the smartest dude there. I never want to be the smartest dude there. I don't ever want to do that. And if I am, I'm in the I'm in the wrong room. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really associate with too many rooms just because of that fact. I never want to be the smartest person in the room. Um, I do spend a lot of alone time, which I've struggled with in the past. I'm not even gonna lie, but now that I'm of age, I guess, or something, something's come upon me where God's telling me, man, this is exactly where you're supposed to be, what, you, what you're supposed to be doing. You're being good to people. They're being good to you. You're giving shit away. You're getting shit back. And um, I'm just expecting God to bring, bring, to bring huge things, not even big things, fucking humongous things. God's just showering me with abundance, and it's a beautiful thing. And I pray each and every one of you watching this right now get that or I'm planting the seed in your mind that you could create an abundant lifestyle too where you don't have to hold on to things and scarcity or you don't have to hold on to every last minute of your time and scarcity because we have plenty of it and we got to live in the moment to have plenty of it. Um, so with that, I just need to touch base on that and uh, love you guys. Peace.